good morning my dear students in last videos i explained you about the meaning of a computer system the storage area of a computer system the types of a computer system and advantages of a computer system functions of a computer system and fundamental components of a computer system the fundamental components of a computer system are input devices processing unit storage area and output devices in this video i will teach you the generation of a computer system first generation of a computer system second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation of a computer history of computer generations the students based on the technology used in building a computer computer are divided into mainly five generation the first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation so let us briefly learn about the different computer generation the first one is first generation computer around the year to 1920 an electrical device called the vacuum tube was invented it brought about a tremendous increase in the speed of calculations vacuum tubes were big in size produced a lot of heat and had a short life before world war second a german engineer built an electric calculating machine using vacuum tubes during world war second a special machine called colossus was built in england it was used to crack the code of the wireless message of a german army students in 1945 a two american engineers used this vacuum tubes to build a enac means electric numerical integrator and computer the first electrical calculating machine since the enac could only do calculations it came to be known as computer the device developed by the two american engineer that is called the enac it was so large that it to be occupy a big hall it had around 80000 that means 18000 vacuum tubes and consumed a large amount of electricity but it had a fantastic speed of doing calculation in those days it used to perform 5000 additions in 1 second imagine 5000 additions in 1 second and 500 two digit multiplication in 1 second the second generation of computers were developed in the period between 1956 to 1963 transistor were replaced vacuum tubes in the second generation of a computer the transistor was far faster to vacuum tubes allowing computers to become a smaller faster and more efficient then the the first generation of a computer second generation of a computer moved from machine languages to assembly languages high level la programming languages were also being developed at the this time such as cobol and photon this were also the first computer that stores their instructions in their memory which moved from a magnetic drum to the magnetic core technology this is a specialty of a second generation of a computer compared to the first generation of a computer third generation of a computer between 1964 to 1971 so the integrated circuit that means ic integrated circuit was the main component of a third generation of a computer compared to the first and second generation what is a specialty in third generation of a computer is ic integrated circuit this is a special in third generation of a computer transistor was minimized place on the silicon chip called a semiconductor which can increase the speed and efficiency of a computer system this third generation of a computer used keyboard and monitor and interplaced with the operating system which allows the device to run many different applications
the fourth generation of a computer were developed in the year 1971 onwards 1971 to 1980 the microprocessor used in the fourth generation of a computer as thousands of integrated circuit ic which is used in third generation of a computer on built into a single silicon chip in fourth generation of a computer it reduced the size of a computer increase the power and efficiency and reliability of the computer system intel 4004 chip in 1971 located all the components of a computer in 1981 ibm introduced its first computer for the for the home users as these small computers become more powerful they would be linked together to form a network and develop a and development of the internet compared to the first second and third generation of a computer a fourth generation of a computer having some advantages small in size the size of the computer is become small air condition is not compulsory consumes low power hardware problem is very low easy to operate it it contain more storage capacity very high processing speed used for commercial purpose and used advanced input and output devices these are the some advantages of a fourth generation of a computer and in the fifth generation of a computer took place on 1981 onwards this computer will be under artificial intelligence they will be able to take commands in audio visual way and carry out instructions parallel processing and power of many cpu can be used side by side and computer will be more powerful super computer are very fast expensive and employed for specialized applications that require huge amount of mathematical calculations it is used for weather forecasting animated graphics nuclear energy research petroleum researching etc let us learn some of the important features of a fifth generation of a computer how this fifth generation of a computer is different from compared to the first generation second generation third generation and fourth generation this fifth generation of a computer having their own thinking power and making decision themselves having capability of learning large capacity of internal storage and very high processing speed and capabilities of parallel processing these are the some uh, features of advanced features of the fifth generation of a computer system